Hi, I'm Bobby with Ranch Hand. Today we're going to show you how to install our Legend Series front end replacement bumper for your Ford F-250. Here are the tools that you will need. A large flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and the wrenches you'll need are a quarter inch, three-eighths inch, half inch. You'll also need a 13 millimeter socket and two 19 millimeter sockets. You'll also need a power ratchet with a swivel and a 15 millimeter socket. One recommendation, use two safety floor jacks to raise the front end of the truck a few inches to give you a bit more clearance and make the install a little easier. Remove the factory bumper support bracket. This is found on the back side of the bumper and is accessed from the wheel well. These are 3 8 inch bolts. Under the truck, near the front, find and unplug the wiring harness for your running lights. Press the clip until you hear it click, then pull down and it comes right out. Remove the plastic covers around the tow hook. These will come off easily. Remove all eight bolts beneath the plastic cover. This is an 18 millimeter socket. If your vehicle is a diesel, it will have an electrical plug coming out from the front bumper that needs to be pushed through to stay with the truck as you remove the bumper. Save the bumper. You're going to need a couple parts from it later on. Remove the chrome tow hooks by removing the 18 millimeter bolts holding it in place. There are four on each side. The other piece here you need to remove is called the crash bucket, which is also held in place with four bolts. To install the mounting bracket, grab the black mounting bracket for the front end and the factory tow hook. Put them together and slide them on as seen here. Use the original four bolts you removed to bolt this down from underneath. Hand tighten and then use a ratchet. Use our two inch coated grade A bolts with a washer on both sides and a nut on the inside. As you are tightening, hold the inside nut with a three quarter inch wrench to keep them from sliding. Repeat this process on the opposite side of the truck. Now it's time to get the bumper in place. If you have one, use a lift as you see here. Another option is to use three people to lift and install the bumper. Remember that this product is very heavy. If you are installing this with some friends, it's possible to use a floor jack at the center of the bumper to help hold a lot of the weight while one person on each side lines it up. Make sure the bumper is even on both sides. Bolt the bumper on the mounting bracket you have just installed. Use a washer on both sides. You may have to use a hand ratchet instead of an impact wrench on the inside brackets. Tighten the bolts down almost like you would a tire, moving from one to the next, and then back to the first bolt again to ensure a tight fit. Before the bumper is completely tightened down, you'll want to double check that it's level and not obstructing your headlights. You want the bumper to be half inch to three quarter inch below the fender. It's important that you tighten these down as much as possible. This is the primary support system holding your bumper. You should now be able to remove your stand or floor jack. Now you need to remove the lights from the factory bumper we set aside earlier. There are four number eight factory bolts.
Unplug the wiring harness from the bumper and pull the light unit out. Remove the small internal spring with a Phillips head bit and a small ratchet. Save this hardware, we'll reuse it on the bracket. With a large flathead screwdriver, pry the two clips on each side to remove the light. It may take a little work. Now it's time to install the factory driving lights. The brackets for each side are exactly the same, so don't worry about which one goes where. The new bracket has a hole on each side of it, where the factory lights fit in. Next, place the screw and spring back into place and tighten down. Use the screw as an adjustment to make sure that the light is parallel with the bracket. This ensures that when you mount the light, that it will be level on the road. It may help to mark the sides of the light and the bracket with a white paint pen to make them more visible. Bolt the elbow bracket to the light bracket you just assembled. Use a bolt and a nut with a washer on each side. The next step may be a bit tight. You need to attach the light to the mounting bracket. Before tightening it down, check that the light is centered with a cutout. You will need a ratchet and your half inch wrench to tighten this securely. Remove the factory light wiring from the factory bumper by snipping the zip ties or clips holding it down. Plug in the driving light harness back into the original location. Feed the wire up around the hoses and brackets. You can zip tie these down for additional support. Clip into the back of the driving lights. Attach the license plate with the remaining hardware. If you don't attach a sensor, then you will have some hardware left over. So there you have it. As you can see, it wasn't that difficult and you could probably do it in your own garage. I'm Bobby with Ranch Hand. Thanks for watching.